Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and it's time once again for a figure update slash unboxing slash showcase sort of video. Uh, today with the newly attained Kantai Collection, Can Cole, Sega SPM Super Premium Figure, Yudachi Kaini or Kai 2 Swimsuit Mode figure. And uh, this was a figure that came out like a couple of months ago, I think, over in Japan as a prize figure. Um, and I just happened upon a singular listing. Only one was being sold on Amazon, of all things. One was just randomly looking for things that I wanted to add to my uh, wish list. And there it cropped up, and I'm thinking, okay, th this can't only be the one listing, like the only listing in existence of this figure. And I ended up Googling and found uh, it available on Nipponya San, the website, which I'll link in the description below the, uh, you know, link to this particular figure on that site in case you want to get one for yourself. Um, it's also started to crop up on eBay as of the time of this recording. Um, but so I'm going to like open up this box and showcase the figure as I have done in the past. And uh, this is my fourth, technically speaking, Yudachi figure. I love the artwork, even though it is kind of a little bit misrepresentative because she's got the little food thing and the figure doesn't have that. But um, I guess it's mostly showcasing the fact that this is the swimsuit style and that is the style of the figure. And uh, so, as I say, we will open this sucker up. Um, now, for those who remember my coverage, my review coverage of the anime Kantai Collection Can Cole and the subsequent movie and things like that, um, as well as has seen my uh, various figure videos and showcase videos and such. Um, you may have seen, you know, Yudachi cropping up a few times. That is because she's my favorite Kantai Collection character, all down to the uh, adorable qualities of the character, the poi and everything like that, as well as just the badassery once she becomes Kaini. It's like tantamount, <laughs> you know, to take such a, a cute, adorable looking sounding character and then suddenly, suddenly she's fierce as the day is long was just like gangbusters to me. So uh, here is the plastic container that, you know, she's housed in within the box. You can see the pretty meticulous and gorgeous beach style stand um which i'm probably not going to be you know taking out of the plastic for now because she will sit in the box until i have a, a an eventual setup that i can display um her and a lot of my other you know figures both anime prize and otherwise um because most of my stuff is still in boxes and, and still packed away in my closet but um i really am excited to at some point get all of the for, you know, Yudachi figures that I have, set them up side by side and do sort of a comparison, um, which, you know, may eventually be a video or something or, or a picture I post over on Facebook, something like that. Um, but in any case, the figure comes out of the package really easy, really beautifully, really meticulously well crafted, and there's a nice heft to it. Um, as you can see, her sort of gear on the back there. Take the little plastic bit off, get a better look at it, the uh, armaments and such. It's pretty similar to the uh, armaments on one of the other figures that I have. I think her, her Kaini version um, that I have in just her straight Kaini clothes, her outfit. But um, everything about this figure is beautiful, is gorgeous. I mean, she looks like, you know... She stepped out of a portrait. And, uh, of course, the prongs that go into the stand and her little flip-flopped feet. <laughs> um, but, holy crap, what a gorgeous piece. And uh, I love it. I, You know, she's my favorite character, as I say. And I, I as soon as I saw this, I had to grab it. Um, luckily, I had the funds to be able to do so. It took a while to get to me. Uh, coming straight from Japan, of course. Um, but I, I love that these prize figures, the quality that goes into the craftsmanship of them. Again, this is a, a weighty PVC plastic. Um, I mean, it feels like a, it feels like a, st a statue, a proper statue. And she is certainly statuesque. <laughs> There's no argument there. Um, but I mean, the weight, the heft to it is impressive. 
It doesn't feel like, you know, a, a, a sort of worthless piece of junk or something or that it's cheaply made. And just looking at her, I mean, there's a wash to her hair, you know, the, the sort of a color change that goes on there. And of course, that's true to her kiny form. Of course, her eyes are red in her kiny form as opposed to the green they are formerly. And um, everything that I like. Looking at it, there, there's nothing I can see conceivably wrong with it. The paint apps, everything, the detail of the gold on her scarf, um, the red lines on her armbands and on her, you know, sort of bikini top, the bust line, everything, 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 everything about this figure is gorgeous. Oh, even the gold on, like, her hair bands. There's one around the back. One on the side there. She's got her little bow. And I love how they capture the hair. The the two little fronds that go off to the sides like that. Which is, you know, exactly how she looks in her tiny form. And, um, holy crap. <laughs> Just amazing. This figure is amazing. This is the best one yet. Um, I'm looking over here because uh, I still have at bedside the last one that I got, which was uh, the Can Cole versus uh, Space Invaders version, which was kind of a little bit more of a, a chibi sort of look um, as as compared to this one, which looks more, you know, again, statuesque, like straight out of uh, the game or, or maybe even the anime, something like that, like an upgraded version of the animated form. Um, and uh, but that one was actually gifted to me by a friend and viewer. Uh, which, you know, like, I I've kept it next <laughs> to my bed with the last few figure acquisitions I've gotten over the last few months just because it was so special to me that uh, this, this friend and viewer, you know, gifted it to me. And, um, you know, she's still in her box. I'm going to have this one back in the box for now until I eventually figure out some sort of placement, something like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just, just gorgeous. She's just gorgeous. And uh, definitely, if you want to get your hands on her, if you like Udachi, if you like the look of this figure, which it would be hard to say is unappealing, um, you know, check out the link in the description, as I say, for Nippon Yasan. And, uh, or check out eBay. As far as uh, stateside, you know, I I've seen listings. And uh, just be wary of anything that, you know, isn't straight from Japan. Like if it's China, Hong Kong, or something like that. Um, Chances are it, w it would turn out to be a bootleg, but this just came out. This this is a recent, you know, uh, recently produced, released figure as of the time of this recording. So chances are they haven't had time to make any fakes. Um, but, you know, go to Japanese sellers or uh, if you are stateside, something like that, um, or in the UK, you know, local sellers that, you know, have a good relationship with products from Japan. Um, because this, this is, this is a work of art. It's, you know, a little like eight inch work of art <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, otherwise I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below any, uh, uh, you know, latest acquisitions you've gotten your hands on, whether it's just Japanese anime stuff, uh, you know, import figures, you know, Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, DC uh, Multiverse, whatever. You know, anything goes as far as what you might like to collect, what your latest acquisitions were. And uh, it's it's definitely a passion for me. One that is unfortunately <laughs> clipped very close to the chest because I just don't have a whole hell of a lot of funds every month to be able to get stuff. Um, but when I can find a figure like this and, uh, you know... Anywhere between twenty to forty dollars, arguably, is is uh, you know I'm willing to spend that because otherwise, where else? How else? Where else would I get something of this quality, of a character that I really love and adore? Um, so yeah, <laughs> as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.